we have to find the arc length uh, given of this function uh, from 1 uh, to 8, so solution. So the formula for the uh, arc length of a curve from A to B is the square root of 1 plus the derivative of f, and this is being squared, uh, dx. Okay, so in this problem, all we have to do is just take the derivative, plug it into the formula, and we're done. Uh, and all of this, a is equal to 1, and b is equal to 8, and here's our f of x. So f prime of x, so we take the derivative, uh, we bring the 2 thirds downstairs, so we get 2 thirds times 3 halves, x to the, let's see, 2 thirds minus 1 is negative 1 third. These cancel, and so we end up with x to the negative 1 third. All right, now we'll just plug everything into the formula. So little s is the definite integral from 1 to 8. Uh, let's see, square root 1 plus, now when you square, when you square x to the negative 1 third, it looks like this, x to the negative 1 third squared. So you just multiply, you get x to the negative 2 thirds. Okay, 2 times negative 1 third is negative 2 thirds. So here you get x to the negative 2 thirds, dx. So far so good. Uh, it might not be obvious as to how to integrate this. So what we'll do is we'll rewrite it. So it's the definite integral from 1 to 8. And write this as 1 plus 1 over x to the 2 thirds, dx. Now we'll actually perform the addition under the square root. So this will become the definite integral from 1 to 8, um, big square root. I'm going to write it as x to the 2 thirds plus 1 over x to the 2 thirds. Right, so I skipped some steps here. Uh, what we did was we wrote 1 as x to the 2 thirds over x to the 2 thirds, right? so that when you add it uh, to 1, you just, you just get this. All right, now we'll take the square root of each piece. This is 1 to 8, square root, x to the 2 thirds, plus 1. And here we just get x to the 1 third. Now, a word of warning here. Um, when, when you take the square root of x to the 2 thirds, right, you're really taking the square root of x squared to the 1 third power. And the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. And this is to the 1 third power x is between 1 and 8. So the absolute value of x is just x. Sometimes uh, it doesn't happen this way, right? So if we were looking at this uh, where we had a negative number, then we would have to put a negative here. So just, just be careful whenever you take the square root of, of x squared. Anyways, let's finish. At this point, we can make a substitution. So we'll set u equal to x to the 2 thirds plus 1. So du will be 2 thirds x to the negative 1 third dx, right? You bring the 2 thirds down, 2 thirds minus 1 is negative 1 third. We don't have a 2 thirds here, so what I'll do is I'll multiply by the reciprocal. So 3 halves, 3 halves. So these cancel and you get uh, 3 halves du equals x to the negative 1 third dx. All right, now we're ready to make the substitution. Now, you could change the limits of integration. Um, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. So when x is equal to 1, uh, what's our u going to be? Well, you just put a 1 here. So u is 1 plus 1, which is 2. And then when x is equal to 8, our u is, let's see, 8 to the 2 thirds plus 1. So 8 to the 2 thirds, that's the cube root of 8 squared. So the cube root of 8 is 2, 2 squared is 4. So you get 4 plus 1, which is 5. All right, so these are going to be our new limits. We're going to integrate from 2 to 5. All right, so little s is the definite integral from 2 to 5. Uh, okay, and then this here is right here. And it's equal to 3 halves du. So I'm going to put the 3 halves outside, and then we just have the square root of u. So when we integrate this, the square root of u, we want to write it as u to the 1 half. So this will be u to the 1 half du. Okay, and let's keep going. So now we can use the power rule. So little s is 3 halves, and then use the power rule. So you add 1, so you get u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves. 
right? And we're integrating from 2 to 5. So these cancel. So first you plug in the 5, so you get 5 to the 3 halves minus 2 to the 3 halves. And what is that number? I don't know, but that is the arc length. And we are done. And this was an easier problem. These, these all take a little bit of time. Um, it's just a lot of computations.